unknown that defines our existence. We are constantly searching, not just for answers to our questions, but for new questions. We are explorers. We explore our lives, day by day. And we explore the galaxy, trying to expand the boundaries of our knowledge. And that is why I am here. Not to conquer you with weapons or with ideas, but to coexist and learn. the best crew any captain ever had. This may be the last time we're all together, but no matter what the future holds, no matter how far we travel, a part of us, a very important part, will always remain here on Deep Space Nine. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're alone in an uncharted part of the galaxy. We've already made some friends here and some enemies. We have no idea of the dangers we're going to face. But one thing is clear. Both crews are going to have to work together if we're to survive. That's why Commander Chakotay and I have agreed that this should be one crew. A Starfleet crew. And as the only Starfleet vessel assigned to the Delta Quadrant, we'll continue to follow our directive. To seek out new worlds and explore space. But our primary goal is clear. Even at maximum speeds, it would take 75 years to reach the Federation. But I'm not willing to settle for that. There's another entity like the caretaker out there somewhere who has the ability to get us there a lot faster. We'll be looking for her. And we'll be looking for wormholes, spatial rifts, or new technologies to help us. Somewhere along this journey, we'll find a way back. Mr. Paris, set a course for hope. I think it's safe to say that no one on this crew has been more obsessed with getting home than I have. But when I think about everything we've been through together, maybe it's not the destination that matters. Maybe it's the journey. And if that journey takes a little longer, so we can do something we all believe in. I can't think of any place I'd rather be, or any people I'd rather be with. To the journey. You're here. To the, the journey. 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 We work to better ourselves 
and the rest of humanity. Because at 11 o'clock, an alien ship will begin passing through the solar system. Alien, you mean extraterrestrials? More bad guys? Good guys. They're on a survey mission. They have no interest in Earth. Too primitive. Oh. Doctor, tomorrow morning when they detect the warp signature from your ship and realize that humans have discovered how to travel faster than light, they decide to alter their course and make first contact with Earth right here. Here? Uh, actually, over there. It is one of the pivotal moments in human history, Doctor. You get to make first contact with an alien race, and after you do, everything begins to change. Your theories on warp drive allow fleets of starships to be built, and mankind to start exploring the galaxy. It unites humanity in a way that no one ever thought possible when they realize they're not alone in the universe. Poverty, disease, war, they'll all be gone within the next 50 years. But unless you make that warp flight tomorrow morning, before 11.15, none of it will happen. And you people, you're all astronauts on some kind of Star Trek.